Girl with a Pearl Earring by Tracy Chevalier, published by HarperCollins, or at least this edition is published by HarperCollins. Um, this is a novel that is set in 17th, mid 17th century um, Delft. And um, I was tempted to pick this novel up again and reread it because, you know, it has been sitting on our bookshelf for many a year. Um, and it's because I have picked up Tracy Chevalier's latest novel, The Glass Blower, which is set in Venice. And, um, both books really are so, so transportive. And I'm particularly fond of Girl with a Pearl Earring because when I read it many, many years ago, it was one of those books, you know, along with Shantaram and various other um, novels that I read that inspired us to set up trip fiction. And I thought, you know, do people actually know uh, the story? Have they picked it up? Is it actually available still? Girl with a Pearl Earring. And I thought maybe it would be worth bringing to um, readers' attention once again. So it is the story very much of Greet, who um, is from a very poor family, and her father suffers an accident and he can no longer work, so she needs to go out and work. And she is assigned to the household in the Papists' corner, so they're Protestant and... Um, Vermeer has converted to Catholicism to be their maid and gradually she settles in but you know there are all sorts of tensions within the household children are being born to the woman of the house um, and there is an awful lot of drudge for her to deal with um, but gradually she is assigned to looking after Vermeer to helping him grind his paints his pigments um, and then he sees something about her because she's a quite a sort of she herself has an artistic eye and he gets her to sit and it is really the story of um, him picking a maid to sit, um, uh, which will then uh, result in a painting that will be exhibited, you know, in rich people's houses. And this upsets the dynamic in um, his own household. And so it is a very uh, good story. It really takes you back. You know, there are many little sort of vignettes of life in Delft, um, as I imagine it must have been. And, you know, it reminded me of what a really good sense of setting is. So if you haven't read it yet, Girl with a Pearl Earring, I think is worth picking up because it is so transportive and it is so well written. So Tracy Chevalier's Girl with a Pearl Earring, I recommend it to you.